Let's imagine that we measure the height of a bunch of people and graph them. It might look a little like this. The average height here is 170 centimetres. The average height is directly in the middle of the distribution here. I've conveniently marked off the standard deviation, which is 10 centimetres. This represents how much the scores vary around the mean. You can see, just visually inspecting the normal distribution, that a lot of the scores seem to clump close to the mean. There were fewer scores further out in the region from one to two standard deviations, and there are even fewer scores out beyond two standard deviations, and so on. Now, because it's a normal distribution, if we find somebody, measure their height, and it turns out that their height is 180 centimetres, we can now work out whether they're tall or not, relative to everybody else in our population of interest. The way we do that is we convert the height values into standardised scores, in other words, we convert the distribution of scores into a standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is just a normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. The way we convert height to a standard score is by subtracting the mean, so 170 centimetres, from the height value and dividing it by the standard deviation, which is 10. For example, someone with a height of 180 centimetres will now have a standardised score of 1 on this standard normal distribution. It's clear to see here that they're one standard deviation above the mean. Now, we can tell how small or large this score is because we know the properties of the standard normal distribution. For example, we know that about 68% of scores are within the region of plus or minus one standard deviation. We know that about 95% are within two standard deviations. Pretty much most of the scores are within three standard deviations. With this information, we can work out how tall a 180 centimetre person is by working out the area under the curve up to that one standard deviation point. All we have to do is add up the proportion of scores in this green region. We know that this first portion here represents half of the standard normal distribution, so that's 50% of the scores. We also know that the additional portion is half of the region between plus and minus one standard deviation. So half of 68% is 34%. We can just add these together to work out that our person who is 180 centimetres tall is taller than 84% of people. That's pretty tall. We could say that this person is taller than the majority of people. This is why it's important to standardise tests like intelligence tests because standardised tests provide us with the information that helps us work out exactly how somebody has performed on a test. This information is incredibly useful.